All right, let's continue New Leaf. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying the playthrough of this one so far. It's a Saturday. Well, it's, yeah, it's still Saturday here. Almost Sunday. <laughs> trying to get my headphone cable. I keep forgetting to do this right away. Plugging into the 3DS. Okay. Today from 9am to 6pm is the bug off. You can find more at the event plaza. It sounds like prizes are awarded depending on how well you do. Um, I think that's everything. Oh wait, no, I actually have one last thing to tell you. A shoe store is opening over on Main Street today. Now that I can buy new shoes, I can coordinate my outfits better. Get ready for a fashion explosion. Well, you should really go check it out when you get the chance. A shoe store. Okay. We got the art from... Fox. Scam Fox. From HHA. Oh, happy... Happy home. A t-shirt. Alright, well I'm gonna put the stuff away first. Also gotta go to the the club. I've been making more of an effort to play through this a bit more. As this did take a major major backseat once um like I had to rush through the Zelda games and whatnot. And then play Tears of the Kingdom. Someone's got flu. Who has who has a who has the plague right now? Someone has brought the plague to the town. I hear it. You. I wonder if I should go to the award ceremony dressed up like this. Award ceremony. Perhaps I should look totally snazzed for the occasion. Is that award ceremony? Colton, you found fleas on me. Oh man, I'm so embarrassed right now. Don't even look at me. Hey, thanks though. If you ever find yourself with fleas, I'll gladly be your exterminator. Yeah, the thing about me is I'm not gonna have fleas on me because I'm... What? I was gonna say I'm not dis disgustingly dirty. Patty. Okay, so... I mean, there's gonna be a, a nice little cluster of villagers here. Patty is moving right in next to Town Hall. I don't know who Patty is, but I guess we'll find out. New villager in a few days. I could look it up, but I'll be surprised. This is the bug off thing. Nah. Well, old bean, the time has come for the award ceremony to begin. Oh. I guess the event's over. This is what they meant by award ceremony. I didn't earn anything because it just wasn't around for it. 
I think I'm about ready to begin the bug off award ceremony. I mean, I, I guess I turned up to the award ceremony. Colton came third. <laughs> no, it's just a trophy. Oh, this dude's like, um, the otter that just eats the bugs as well. And a cloudy. Is this character in New Horizons? I feel like... Because the thing is, I never did any other bug stuff. <laughs> it's always fishing. I did plenty of the fishing. I know, ha ha ha. But like... I, I don't recall that. It's possible Nat was in New Horizons, I just never did anything with it. Okay, so it's like once a month. I mean, we, we saw the main thing. What else is here? Just a bunch of random stuff. I don't think I missed out. I think I would have still not done well in that. These are in easy spots today. I swear if I get bitten by a mosquito. I'll, I'll check out the shoe store once I go donate. Probably gonna be the next one I find. <laughs> okay, well. This one. No?
Wow. Okay. Phineas, good day to you, youngster. Why don't you say this is a perfect time for us all? By the way, is there something you needed from me? May I have a badge? Oh, you want a badge, do you? Let's see. What kind of badge best suits you? Hmm, I see. Ah, it seems they've become a little interested in itch. What? Itch? So obviously, I was looking at your Fitch collection encyclopedia. Got the perfect badge for you. You keep being good, the badge man will bring you a new badge, okay? Fish Maniac badge. Alright. Phineas, move, please. <laughs> wow, it wasn't this one either. I do appreciate all the extra little systems this game has. I mean, there's some I can understand why they removed them from New Horizons, just in terms of streamlining. Making things simpler, but then there are others where it's just... I want them to be in New Horizons as well. There's just more things to do. Like... Why couldn't we have the nightclub as well? I'm missing one more fossil. Did I check this rock? I'm not sure I did. Sorry. What's up? Oh, Cupcake, I seem to recall you wanting a dark poker shirt. Alright. Hooray! I happened to see some in the store, so I bought one for you. Couldn't pass up the opportunity. Hope you like your new shirt. <laughs> sure. I'll wear it. What was that? Ding dong? I was talking to Colton about the best place to spend time with friends. Yeah, do you want to listen to Will? That's good stuff. Sure. Alright, let's listen to this together, Cupcake. It's pretty simple, really. Go to the aquarium and look at different kinds of fish there. Start out in the area with the tiniest fish, of course. I'm sure there are a lot of cute fish there, Count. Next up is the area of colorful fish. Those must really be beautiful, Count. <laughs> and then when you get to the area where they keep the huge water tank with sharks and stuff, you both hop in and go swimming around. How wonderful- what? Wait, what? Colton? I don't think uh, that's ever something I want to experience, is being near that stuff. I mean, on, on the level that you're in the water with them. I've been to an aquarium. <laughs> I'm not afraid of aquariums. It's more the, uh, yeah, being the same waters as them. Where's this last fossil?
pretty sure I check this one, right? Just in case I haven't. Oh no, it's this one. Alright. Nice. There's one feature I miss the most, it's the auto stack. Alright, I think I'm just gonna go to the museum and do the thing anyway and just I want to see. Oh, Lucky's still around. First, let's hear a joke. Better be worth it. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My pride joke is just the th thing to cure what ails you. So, I remember this really funny joke my teacher used to tell. Do you want to hear it? <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking about it. It makes me laugh. Well, are you ready to hear this great joke? There are two kinds of people in this world. Those who can count, and those without. Oh no, I messed up the joke. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, so what do you think? I think this is the first time you've seen my pride joke. Now you can go and add one more joke to your joke book. Use that joke book of yours to bust out your pride ability to develop your comedic skills. What a strange little... little creature. What does this look like? Oh yeah, this look. <laughs> okay. That's probably going to be the thumbnail, like both of us doing the face. That's great. <laughs> Maybe I should go get a different outfit, just for the sake of, like, looking a little different. Hey, Gami, I mean, what's up? Oh, the museum extension is done too. Like, uh, assess a fossil. one. No, that's it. So what is this? Second floor exhibition area and museum shop. Locker. Oh, it's you. Welcome to OES's personal exhibit and gift shop floor. 
Thanks to you, this floor is newly opened. We thank you very much for all your support. This is the first time you've seen this floor, right? If you have the time, I'd like to briefly explain about this floor. Yeah. Citizens of this town can use any exhibit room on this floor as they see fit for a display. We rent personal exhibit spaces for a fair price. Please let me know if you want to use them. You can decorate the rooms in the same way you would decorate your very own home. Ah, uh, okay. Gotcha. Stock commemorative goods. A silver shovel. It's okay. I get it. So it's like if I want to decorate a room. What is this? Museum floor. Nah. I'm fine. It's almost like an extra room here. So if you don't want to have a weird room in your house. Like I don't know. An agriculture room. You can bring it here. That's kind of neat. Okay. This is a cosmetic shovel. I mean, I, this is what I hope the gold shovel would be. It would be something that doesn't get destroyed and you can have it as like a little achievement thing, but you have to keep crafting them in New Horizons, which was a bit disappointing. Just wasn't worth the recipe cost. Slingshot's on sale again. I'm good. Blackboard, a candle, what is this? A weird digital clock, okay. I'm alright. Kicks. Oh, it's, yeah, it's the little skunk that visits, but now, dedicated store. Hello, chum. Crikey, it's the mayor. Here, in my shop? Welcome, sir. My name is Kix. I run this little shoe shop. Please have a look around. Now we can get better shoes. Big boots. Clogs. Let me see. There's no visual difference, really. I'll take him. It's nice. It's one more thing to be able to make my character look different every time I play this. Jacket, pants. I mean, I've already got. It. <laughs> if I want to go with, like, just lean into the the extreme colors. 
Ja. <laughs> I mean, uh, I want the chef hat because I can make a chef-like outfit. Don't know, this is what I'm gonna wear. There we go. I'm ready to go yodeling. I like that the uh, the shovel sparkles. Such a little thing, but it does make me glad that I I have it. Oh, the club's gonna open in half an hour. All right. Yeah, we can do that. All right, now to find the other fossil. I'll gather stuff and then, yeah. Keeping busy until it's time to go get it. Mm. Oh, wait, there's another one. That. If we get all the others, it's gonna. I'm gonna run out of room too quickly. Probably gonna have to start selling clothing soon. Or gifting it. something. Ah! Why am I so bad at catching box? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna mix my tea. Whilst I'm putting stuff away. I mean, I should probably condense the clothing into one thing, but... 
It's okay. Uh, that shovel is no longer needed. Okay, hang on, I need to remove this infuser thing. There we go. I never would have thought I'd be making, like, tea. <laughs> and I don't mean tea bag, but just, like, actual getting tea leaves and putting them in and brewing them. It's such a Melbourne hipster thing to do. Just more and more by the day. But I will say it does... It does taste better because you can control how much flavor goes into it. Hmm. Just seeing if I wanted to do anything up here. Whilst I was here, just reminding myself what I had. Dressed like I'm in the 70s. I guess I have coupons now, so I'm going to check what's here. It might be something good. Coffee sign, coffee table. Well, big round table, it's not a coffee table. I think I'm fine. For now. I'm not sure to what extent I'm going to go with the house. Like, this, this one's not as extensive as New Horizons, which I know, like, it's not a complaint, it's just stating a fact. So I can only make it look visually nice to a certain point. I can probably save that if I do more Happy Home. Stuff for New Horizons. How much space do I have? Probably enough to do this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, I can pick a new, uh, new project as well today. I'll have to go through the list of stuff they want built. I'm definitely not building another bridge. <laughs> so we have enough, we have enough bridge. I mean, if I, if I was forced to make another one, it would probably go up, up the back of my house, I guess. But I feel like the town has enough bridges. The police station might be the good one. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, so disappointed that it's just balloon stuff every time. But I guess it's money. to get better enough I'm not quick. <laughs> okay, time to sell. Okay, I'm gonna have a look at the projects that are available. Probably gonna go with police station because that's something new. Unless, or what if it's just a building, but it's not actually something new? It's just a cosmetic building, and you don't get a police officer. Let's just see. <laughs> Put the police station outside of Colton's house, so I can keep tabs on on Colton. What? No! <laughs> I don't, the event's over! <laughs> I couldn't do it yesterday, because... Uh, why not take the day off? <sighs> just take five minutes, just need to decide what we're doing. Five minutes, so just need five minutes of your time, that's all. Then we can go to the club. Right? It's like, yeah, 20 minutes away, but still.
I suppose I can go put it towards the home loan. Everything that's might seem like okay, it, it's not as as fluid. I can accept, but it's just no auto stacking thing that I just cannot believe it. <laughs> that's the one that that kills me every time I have to do it. And I'm not saying this as someone that's like complaining about games. It's just more that my job involves user interfaces and user experience and when i say this it's just like internal screaming every time because this is the sort of thing that i would walk over to someone's desk over and be like hey drag and drop what what are we doing automatic automatic stacking come on you're just going to annoy people Oh, there it is. I must have walked by it so many times. But I love the, uh, the tools in this one. Just... I mean, I get that the breaking tools might have been useful, but I think once you get to, like, gold or silver... Getting an unbreakable one, it's, it's would be such a good achievement, you know? It's just after all that hard work, then you have one that doesn't break. I think that's... That's the part that they should have just rethought. I don't mind stuff breaking. It doesn't bother me as much, but... I think just making the gold and tools seem like such a big achievement and then they just break. I made one, regretted it. <laughs> it's kind of broke. I was not happy. Especially given what it, what it requires to make one of those. Probably all gonna go towards the home loan. With an initial four, yeah. Just time for. 298,000. Okay. I can change the front of my house and some of the other stuff if I want. I mean, for now, I'm just going to focus on... On just paying it off and then I can worry about the looks of it. Not bad. I 
missed the other music that was playing. That was way more chill. Oh. Starting to get to the point where it's harder to find stuff. I do activities. That's paid for my ticket. And then some. I mean, we've got 20 minutes or so, so... That should kill some time before it's... Club time. hear one of those songs. Oh, summertime. You're so summery. You makes me toes so hot. I need some tea. I have tea right here. So, give me some tea with a nice twist of lime. I won't drink it. Can't think it. No, this tea I'm pouring on me feet. <laughs> what the? F what? Soccer's cool, but you ever thought about sim wrestling? You listen well, Captain tells no lies. Captain loves ya. On him you can rely. What a strange little turtle. Or kappa. Whatever whatever it is. It's a kappa. So it just reminds me of Star to expand it and uh, Victor wanting to just rub stuff on his body just to act as a remedy. I mean, pouring tea on your feet might might do something. I don't know. That's a nice straw hat. We'll take it. There you go. I've been watching a lot of One Piece. <laughs> it doesn't have the red bit. But maybe there's a way to customize it. Yeah, a new friend is here to play with me. Let's play Supermarket. I'll be the customer so you bring me something to buy, okay? Oh. Wait, for real?
Okay, the hat is in there. All right, let's see what activities are there. Go on a tour. Official fossil finder. Hey there, whippersnapper. Thanks for joining us on the official Fossil Hunters tour. There's a whole mess of fossils beneath the surface of this island, and it's your job to find them. I don't just want any old fossils, though. You'll be looking for very specific types. This tour is for experienced sprouts, so I'm not going to do much explaining today. If you need a reminder on the rules, come ask me before time runs out. Alright, let's get started. Get ready! As long as I don't get distracted by special fruit. But there are houses. Oh no, this is some okay, this is different. I thought this was Wait, what? I'm so confused with this. Mind you. Here we go. To your skull. Okay. I, I did not... I did not let the instructions sink in at all. Historians. Guandon Tulsa. I'm checking the corner sauce. That's the skull. All right, now I just need the body. Damn it, not the right one. I wonder if I got to keep the fossils and bring them with me.
Nope. Oh, here's the spot. There we go. Okay, I should have enough to make the exhibit. So let me just look at this again. Dead, I imagine dead middle of the room. Yeah, dead middle of the room, and then... Okay, in the co corner. Say correct vertical spot incorrect. Oh no, come on, man. Why, why is it going to the right? Stop it. <laughs> there we go. I don't know why it was going to the right hand side like that. Game over. And you had it in you, well done. For your outstanding performance, you earn a gold tournament award. First gold I've gotten. Hope you enjoyed the official Fossil Hunters uh, tour. Tell your friends. That was alright. Did I get to keep the fossils? Of course not. <laughs> of course not. That would mean making my life easy for the museum. I don't know what time it is in game. Such sound. I hear a sound. I'm not sure if it's a bug or just... Oh damn, there's, there's stuff to get here. Hang on. Some easy money to be made here. Is that sound? Nice. 
I mean, these things are going to sell for quite a bit, so may as well take advantage of it. Damn it. Oh, that was probably a good beetle there. Oh, there you go. Hermit crab. Another shark. Never mind. trip has been already well worth it. Just because of uh, the fish alone. this one yet. Yeah, I don't. thought so. Okay, good enough. Instantly worth it. Sunlight and moonlight can be rough on the eyes. But I'll still take them over ye cloudy skies. Cloudy skies mean storms, and storms can cancel dinner. I guess you could say that storms make you thinner. Alrighty, that is some fine hairdo. Try to wear it like something something. I've seen so many sunrises and sunsets. I enjoy them no matter how busy life gets. How busy life gets. Yar! Well then, that put some hair on your chest, didn't it? Alright. Oh, this is a good song. I like this song.
I'll just first donate, then sell, then club time. Sharks was such easy money. Good money. Why aren't the lights on? Is it not open? I'm sure it's open. Right. I thought it was open from seven. night time. Or is it eight? It might be eight. Ugh, yeah. If it's eight, I can't wait it out. Once, the moment I get the axe, I will start clearing land and actually do like a garden of sorts. It's just right now the motivation isn't there. Because <laughs> why am I making something look nice if the tree situation is such a mess? Oh man. I need to fix it. mind listening to this music. chill tunes yeah I mean I do remember just during the pandemic especially playing this late at night or honestly it was honestly that game that really did help me unwind just especially when just outside sucked <laughs> The next day was gonna be the same as the days were, or had been for five months. I wanna call it elevator music, I think it's just... 
I don't know, something calming about it. I wouldn't say elevator music calms me down. It's more like down tempo. It's one of those things like it kind of has like a moody, somewhat depressing undertone, but then it has like a positive spin to it as well. So it's like the melody is both very depressing, but also positive. I kind of like stuff like that. Like the piano stuff is is moody, but then amongst the moody stuff, there's positive stuff. That's that's the best way I can describe it. Is like you know this part is. Yeah, you know, like, that part there is, is the part that's, like, a little more positive, but the rest is a bit more moody. More realistic with some nuance, yeah. I mean, I like a bit of everything, but there are days where I, I tend to lean more to stuff like this. Loathe fake positivity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that sort of thing falls into three camps, right? There are other people that are doing that to kind of, um... I don't know how to, how to put it. Hand, let me gather my words for a sec. That extreme positivity can be genuine in the sense that there are people that are genuinely happy and that happy and like to be happy, right? And to some it can be a bit much, but it's genuine. It does happen. There are those that do it to be, to put on a face in the sense of like, they know being that way will get them further in a particular thing. And sometimes it's like a mix of genuine, sometimes it's a mix of just knowing, okay, well, if I'm positive in this regard, like, people will, I guess, be more willing to listen to me or willing to, like, consume whatever it is I'm trying to, to put out there in the world, whatever it might be. And then sometimes extreme positivity is like conflict avoidance, more or less. Like you're just that afraid of conflict that you just want everything to be happy, go lucky. And if there's ever a conflict brewing, like you try to... Try to avoid it just by, I guess, do, sh trying to shrug it off. I don't know. If I'm sounding like I'm not making too much sense or it's like a bad take, it's one in the morning. <laughs> So I will defer to that, but I I can sense when someone's genuinely happy and positive and it's something that whilst I don't personally enjoy that too much, I can at the very I can at the very least respect it and not really think of it too much, you know? It's more in the sense of when it's in the latter two. Where it's more like I guess a marketing technique and um Conflict avoidance, that's when I don't like it. That's that's what I'm, I'm trying to say. The fake one is more or less marketing. It's a form of marketing. 
Sometimes it's because the person has that personality and there's definitely genuine aspects. Sometimes it's 100% fake. But, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't resonate with me. But, you know, it's, it's the same, the same can be said about negativity as well as just... You don't want someone that's too negative either. I appreciate being realistic. I don't think realism and negativity are, uh, are something that mean the same thing. It's like, you can be realistic. And sometimes playing the devil at devil's advocate can be seen as being negative, but sometimes it's just checking that people have thought something through, that's all. But you know, like... <sighs> it's, it's hard, to, it's hard to talk about this stuff, because... You don't know what people go through, that's the thing. And sometimes the reason someone might be in a bad mood or negative is just because they have something going on that they don't want to talk about, and you just won't know that. So, try to give people the benefit of the doubt where possible, but... I will say, like, I've had some people in my life that... ...have said things along the line like they're not in the mood for me, or... ...um... What was another one? I, like, brain is, is almost dead at this point, but that was definitely one. It's just like... Being selective of when they want... ...to, like, experience how I am as a person. Or like, just, just poking holes and stuff because you're not in a good mood, that's... That's the stuff that I, I don't know, that's... You don't want that either. People are onions. The old, the old Shrek wisdom. I think, I think if I can sum it up, it's more like the people that I get along with the most are the people that aren't afraid to be happy and aren't afraid to be sad or not happy or that sort of thing. But they're not on the extreme of either, you know? Like, they can be realistic and I won't see them as negative. And they can be happy and I won't see them as like someone being too cheerful. But the moment it shifts to, like, one side or the other, like, being just too negative or too positive, it's just, it's, it's a bit much. Maybe I'm just very picky, I don't know. I've been, I've been called 
it's I've been called negative by someone that's very, very positive. And they weren't being realistic. I was just pointing out like something that was an obvious flaw. And I was like just called very negative. And then conversely, I've been told that too idealistic and too positive as well for like wanting something to be the best it can be. I can drop this again. Yeah, so exactly, if, like, that's when, if you notice someone acting differently, you ask, what's up? But I think it's, it's when it becomes just a common occurrence, that's where it, it can be a bit emotionally draining. I knew someone that, at times, was really glad to see me. And then there were other times that they were like, I'm not in the mood right now. Like, basically telling me to go away. And there would be no way you would know that from the outset. Wait, there was a fish that I didn't get here. It's just like, okay, talking to you is like rolling a dice. And the response I get just depends on how you feel, huh? You're not gonna bite your tongue just to not make me feel shitty. So, I mean, that was in a situation where I was in a group of friends and it was just a thing where that, that person from time to time would be around and it's just like, couldn't do much about it. But I, whenever that sort of stuff pops up, I just, I don't know, I try to stay clear of it. The old man character syndrome. Yeah, a little bit. I mean... There are times where you can definitely, you can definitely have a bad day, right? And that's fine. I guess maybe it comes down to phrasing, you know? There's a difference between I'm not in the mood versus, hey, listen... I've just, just, I'm gonna be honest, I've had like a really long, long day. Can we just talk about something else? Or do something else? Or, you know, that, you, it's like, okay, it's, it's a form of vulnerability and understanding versus, like, just going, hey, I'm not in the mood for you right now, can, can you not? And it's not like I, I was being... It's not like I was being an annoying kid or something. It was just me being me. And... It's just in other situations... The way I acted would have been perfectly normal. Yeah, this, it's, it's, it's framing pretty much. It's small things that changed it so much. It's courtesy versus just commanding, exactly. What is this wallpaper I have? Oh, it's balloon wall. I should have sold it.
Arapaima. Big fish. But I guess for full transparency, I'll say, like, the time I'm referring to it was. We we're playing games, and then I, I guess I was like. How, how I have those visceral reactions when I, when I play games here. Yeah. It was just one of those. It's a big fish. You're running back and forth to answer your cooking. <laughs> Sorry. I'll talk about stuff that's less thought provoking. I think it's honestly just the music. It's like a point of reflection. I'll wait to donate that one. I seem to be getting all the good river fish now. Just wanna let me know you weren't disinterested. <laughs> it's, it's okay, I appreciate it. Maybe night time is the time to fish at the river. Yeah, I guess life's too short to like be around people that are selective of when they want to hang out with you. And I don't mean like, you know, be in the same room. It's more just like be around you and be like, oh yeah. Not say something that's... That's a bit harsh. I've had my share of bad days and I just try where possible not to drag someone else down in that regard. Like, just because I'm having a bad day doesn't mean someone else will. And you know I'm human, sometimes that might not pan out perfectly, but I'm very quick to, like, apologize with that stuff.
But there are some people that aren't. Everyone has bad days, yeah. I guess the difference is, is just... How you treat others. You just tend not to socialize. I mean, fair enough. I can appreciate that. For me, it's, it can be either that where I just kind of want to be to myself and just figure whatever it is out. But then it can also be the opposite where I just, I want to, I want to do something and just get my mind off stuff. Like I, like I've described myself before as like, I... I am both an introvert and an extrovert, and like, the introvert will want to not talk to anyone and kind of deal with shit on his own, and then the extrovert is like, just wants someone around. And it just alternates between the two. Hey, Messiah. Yeah, fishing. Late night fishing and just talking about stuff. I think it's the music, it's just so like moody, but then it has like an upbeat thing to it. Totally fine just lurking, just like to hang out on your own, do your own thing, alone together. Well, I mean, that's just... Not to analyze it too much, but it's... or try, you know, define it. Because <laughs> it's a complex thing, but it's... it's... It's just weird, it's like, no matter how alone you want to be sometimes, it's at the end of the day, it's... Sometimes just watching something, it's still sort of the presence of someone, if that makes sense. So it's like, no matter how alone you want to be sometimes, if you're consuming media, it's like, you're not really alone in some regards. It's company that you don't socialize with. Yeah, to some degree. I know this is just because... I mean, even before streaming... I definitely had people tell me that just talking to me was... something that calmed them down for whatever reason. It wasn't like I did anything special or specific. It's just... Some sort of... Effects. <laughs> balloon TV? I don't want a balloon TV. I'm gonna go sell it. I'm so disappointed in the balloons. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, how's your, uh, day going, Sire? Sorry, I was like, <laughs> mid-sentence I forgot to ask. Donation, donation, thank you. I'm good. I wonder how many fish I'll get. Because I got the silver shovel, like I would imagine there's a silver fishing rod. Having a long night ahead of you and in front of you. Oh, work. Right. Yeah. I mean, how many hours do you work? Like, in it's shift, not in a week. Oh, I forgot to go sell. <sighs> Not that much, but it's something. I think there's a couple of other river fish that I haven't caught that are rare, but we'll see. I still gotta keep cleaning tomorrow, but most of the big stuff is done, thankfully. Depends how much is going on between 6 to 12. Ah, okay. But, I mean, the fact that it's like at night is probably the killer part. My dad used to work at the big casino here in Melbourne and just would alternate between day shift and night shifts, and the night shifts are just always just way more draining. I only ever had to do them <laughs> surprisingly for Kmart because um, they had this annual event. It was like a toy sale that they had in the lead up to Christmas. And so they had mandatory one, I think one or two mandatory night shifts per person if you worked in the gaming section. So that sucked to do some of those. Excuse me, someone else has fleas? Colton again! Dude, I just took one off you earlier. Okay. You found fleas on me! Okay, yeah. Colton? I'm not, I'm not trying to talk. I'm not trying to talk to you. Carlton, no, no. <sighs> I hate how. Carlton, please. 
No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is the quarantine zone. You have fleas, I don't want an infestation in my, my town. As mayor, you must be quarantined. <laughs> Alright, that should stop the spread of the fleas. We've had to put them in timeout twice. Is that? Oh, it's just a goldfish. Ooh. Dorado, that's worth money. So tomorrow, I'm not sure if I'm gonna stream. I just might be tired after everything I have to do. But we'll play it by ear. I have to finish cleaning up around here, and then I have to go to a dinner. And I guess it depends how long I'm going to be out for, but... <laughs> no stream, I'm sorry. It just depends. I mean, even today, like... Playing Baldur's Gate with Lelo was a lot of fun. But if I wasn't playing Baldur's Gate with Lelo, I, I don't know. I, I would have cut it a bit shorter tonight as well. had a bit of a long week this week. see where the fish is. Hang on. Oh, there it is. 3DS was kind of tilted a bit weird. furniture is this? Balloon table. 
It just depends if I want to do a lot of talking tomorrow. Get is gonna bite me. There's also the uh, the new Path of Exile. Uh, what do you call it? <laughs> it's not a ladder. It's not a season. What do they call it? Whatever the the new Path of Exile patch. I want to try it. I don't know what Path of Exile is, it's like Diablo 4's competitor. And something that everyone will probably play once it's out. If uh, Diablo 4 keeps going down the path it's currently going. Because it's getting a sequel next year. Kind of mimicking what happened 10 years ago with Diablo 3. Yeah, they've got some new event going on, so I'll see what the event is. Oh. Uh, what can I swap it for? The flea. Flea's not worth any money. There we go. <laughs> it's just like real life. Mosquitoes are attracted to me. I've been bitten through my socks. That's how that's how bad it is. Like how does that even happen? Do I have anything new for you? No, okay. the bright side. What's the bright side of being bitten, Nectar? <laughs> Tomorrow movie evening with besties? Oh, what are you watching? At least I have decent amount of evidence to claim I'm tasty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to mosquitoes. Oh, that's a balloon table. Okay. 
have no idea, I'll probably decide spontaneously. That's a good way to approach it. I watched, uh, what was it called? No Hard Feelings. Like, uh, this week. That's a dent right there. Okay. Basically, hey, I dropped my stylus shit. <laughs> okay, there we go. Was it good? Yeah, I mean, it's a comedy movie. It was fine. It was nothing special, but it did make me laugh. And that's exactly why I watched it. I needed a laugh. Is there a... Does this event exist in this? I can't remember. I guess I would notice it. They haven't mentioned the, sh the meteor shower. If I don't stream, I'll use the chance to just maybe script more of the other video that I'm working on. I finally put out the starter video on that on the other channel, the one where I'm talking. It's done all right. Like considering I didn't advertise it or anything. It's I just felt like I was overthinking it too much and just finished it. Good views. Yeah, I mean, definitely more than any of my VODs. People seem to enjoy it. I've gotten some positive comments. It suffered because of those three months where I just work was insane and yeah, it just took too long. Plus, you know, I want I want to do the best I can, and sometimes it's like it's a curse. It's a curse because. On the one hand, it means you do better, but on the other hand, sometimes it means stuff takes longer, and it's annoying. Played them for the algorithm, doing your part. <laughs> Thank you. Well, yeah, this one's a bit different, because it's not... It's edited content, and then I'm talking over it. Even my tone of voice sounds different. I had to put like, I wouldn't say a YouTuber voice, but it's like more of a YouTuber voice. I had to write a script. I had to record voices. I had to edit footage. I had to put graphics and stuff over it. Yeah. But the next one's going to be more simple because it's just talking about all the Zelda games I played 
and just what I think of them. And that I, I think I can do a lot easier. Because I'm not trying to reconstruct memories, it's more just stating my opinion and ranking the games, which I've already done. So now I just need to, like, talk about each one for about a minute or two. And then I'm good. And then just put the footage behind it. Sounds simple. <laughs> we'll see how I go. I'm like, I'm like that with anything I do, I just... I don't like doing something unless I'm personally happy with it, or like I'm doing it as close to the best as I can, and... It's, it's a good thing, but it's also not a good thing, believe me. Just a form of overthinking. Are you a perfectionist as well, Nick, though? <sighs> yeah. Carlton, what do you want? <laughs> Thinking about my catchphrase has gotten really old. No, keep it. <laughs> That's not going to get you out of quarantine. You have brought the plague twice today. Such a flea bag, yeah. Ooh, a turtle. Hey. I don't think I'm gonna get any of the other rare fish. I feel like the big fish are a lot more rarer in the rivers than they are in the oceans. The ocean ones just, I, I find that they pop up a lot more often. Tomorrow I'm going to get dinner at this uh, pretty good Malaysian restaurant. They do very good noodles. And, uh, I mean, I don't have the soup, but they do good soups as well. So that'll be nice. Oh, the store's closed. I can't sell now. Alright, I'll keep it in my inventory. Apparently my pockets are full. Whoa. Oh. No, it is a concert. 
Uh-oh. Uh, this is gonna be problematic, hold on. You've gotten hung up on egg fried rice. Wait, like... Fried rice with egg or the... The omelette rice? That I was talking about. That's like a... M massive egg on top of... Massive omelette. Egg rice is so good, though. No omelette? Ah, oh, okay. I'm gonna put... Because I got the feeling I'm gonna get a song. I don't have music for my house, so... Hell, this is what it looks like in here. There's not a whole lot of difference between lights on and lights off. That's lights off, apparently. Uh, I'm gonna put it away in my watering can. You fry chicken and bits and then egg and rice. Ugh, man. Of course it had to be chicken. Something I heard about making fried rice is that um, it's better to use day old rice and that it ends up being better. And then also, like, you cook your aromatics, like garlic and stuff, in the oil first. So you make that hot, right? And then you swap the oil out. Or is it, no, you heat up, I think it's like you heat up the oil, the oil, and then you add more, like you get rid of the hot oil, and then you add more. And then put your stuff in. Something along those lines, I forget, I'll have to look it up. <laughs> Groovy night for a gig, you dig? It's always good to see new cats making the scene. Name's KK Slider. You interested in a tune that will take you to the moon? Go for it. Cool, I can dig that. My axe is hot to play, so cop a seat, Pete. Enough tuning, let's groove. Okay. Alright, well that, that was Animal Crossing New Leaf. Uh, that's the end of the game. Thanks for tuning in everyone. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, leftover rice tastes better. I think it's because it's had a chance to dry out. This sounds like Lord of the Rings music. <laughs> They're taking the hobbits to Isengard! The hobbits, the hobbits, the hobbits, the hobbits to Isengard! To Isengard! That song, whilst a meme, so good. It just feels like it does belong in, in a fantasy game. Am I wrong? Does this not sound like it belongs in a fantasy game?
Oh, damn it, he stopped playing it. I was going to do a bit. <laughs> cool, man, cool. Check your pockets, I slipped you a bit of the song. I mean, that's... That's nice of him. There we go. KK Adventure. He has some crazy brows, that one, KK Slider. Yeah. This is the problem with these games, is like, naturally they reach a time where you can't do any more. And this is, this is that hour now, is like, the store is closed, I can't earn more money, really. Alright, you can leave your quarantine. Unless I put the, or the ordinance in, which makes it last longer, but I think it's fine. Go. Hollywood. Yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It's late. I'm trying to make a move like they're going on an adventure, but it failed. <laughs> But that's all I think of. There we go. My house has music now. Okay. That's a good stopping point. As now, well, it's kind of difficult because I can't exactly keep making money. Easily, anyway. That was a, like two hours. I think that was good enough. Alright, well, that'll do it for now. Thank you for sticking around to the end if you're watching later on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed and have been enjoying New Leaf. Uh, yeah, consider clicking buttons for the algorithm if you want to support the content over here. And thank you to those that have been doing that. It does help a lot. Uh, yeah, maybe two other videos have popped up as well and you want to watch me do something else. Hope you do. But till next time, bye YouTube.